Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations in the global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. I'm Buffy Harakitis of JSA TV, and joining me today is Jeff Greenberg uh, with Dark Points. Hi, Buffy. We're glad to be here. Yeah, so nice to meet you for the first time. Yeah. Uh, we've had uh, you here on JSA TV uh, not too long ago back uh, at Metro Connect. That's right. Yep. But there's been a lot of news since then coming out of Dark Points, yep. including the company being named on the Inc. 5000 list yep. and a newly appointed CFO. Yeah. So why don't you give us some more insight into those huge uh, announcements that recently came yeah. out of Dark Points? Yeah, absolutely. Those are two big ones that came up just in the last month or so. So we are super excited to be named to the Inc. 5000. It's a, obviously a great honor to be associated with the wonderful organization and re highly reputable organization like that. So that was really exciting for us. I mean, we've had tremendous growth over the past few years, so it was nice to be recognized mm -hmm. for that. And partly due to that, some of that growth, we were able to hire a new CFO, uh, Angelica Torres. So Angelica started the week after the Inc. 5000 okay. announcement came out, and I teased her that her announcement didn't drive quite as many visitors to our website as the Inc. 5000, but she's fantastic. She's got a lot of experience working with private equity owned firms like we, like we are. So she's going to, I think, really be a great uh, member of the leadership team and hopefully help us continue to grow at the rate we've been growing at the last several years. Well, congratulations yeah. on the Inc. 5000. Yeah, JSA awesome. is on that list too yeah, yeah. Uh, for the third time in a row. Amazing honor to be a part of that list uh, alongside of of dark points yeah. like you and congrats to Angelica if she's watching on her new role as CFO of dark points. Um, speaking of growth, let's dive into that topic a little bit more. Dark points recently acquired venue, yep. um, adding three yes. Louisiana data centers to the portfolio. Yep. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah. So that announcement uh, came out in May. We completed the acquisition in the beginning of May. So Venue does, as you mentioned, have three data centers in Louisiana, two in Baton Rouge and one in Shreveport. And it's great. I mean, it's it's obviously going to be additive to our revenue. And, and um, it's one of the reasons that's helping us grow very aggressively is it growing through acquisitions. Venue is a great fit. It fits from the markets that we serve, our sort of mid-sized markets in Baton Rouge and Shreveport certainly okay. fit that uh, category and then also I would say operationally how they treat their customers aligns very well with how Dart Points treats our customers so that is important too that we have that sort of operational yeah. alignment. I think that's always you know a key highlight when you're uh, doing any type of acquisition yeah. is ensuring that the uh, values and missions and goals are somewhat aligned at yep. least. Absolutely. Uh, and it sounds like that was a very strategic acquisition uh, fitting into this explosive growth strategy that yeah. you guys have. It, it, it was, I mean, that's part of our growth strategy. We have what we call sort of three pillars to growth. One is clearly identifying opportunistic opportunities <laughs> to uh, right. find uh, find companies that fit in with us and that we could acquire. And then of course we want to grow what we call organically. So through the, you know, selling more in the markets that we serve. And then very, very strategically, it's not going to be as common, but finding a market where we would just go build a, a, a brand new data center. But certainly acquisition is going to be a, a big part of how we want to continue to grow. We've done three or so over the past few years. So we're going to, I'm sure it's going to be, there's probably going to be more of those at some point, I would Keep imagine. growing, right? Yeah. 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 All right. So we'll stay tuned for some yeah. possibly, well, uh, hopefully. some possible <laughs> more acquisition news coming out of dart points in the near future can you share some insights uh into any future goals i know we just recently touched yeah. on potential new acquisitions but any other future goals and plans for dart points in the future well you know growth is the big one right so like i said we want to continue to grow organically find those acquisitions that would be good there's I don't think there's anything super imminent in, but you know hopefully sometime in the next year or so there'll be another one um, but really, it's continuing to do what we do and, and doing it well, taking care of our customers, getting the word out into the marketplace, you know, participating in events like this. Right. We had Brad on a really interesting AI panel. So we want to continue to do things like that and get the word out and make sure people know who we are and consider us when they're looking for a data center operator. 
All right. And if they don't know who you are, yeah. where can they go to find more? Uh, you know, obviously our website, dartpoints.com. Follow us on LinkedIn. We've got uh, a YouTube channel that we're starting to post podcasts to now. That's a great, uh, put a plug for that. The podcasts are fabulous. So uh, those are great areas to find us and learn more about and us. And what's the podcast called? Uh I think it's just called the Dart Points Podcast. I'm okay, not even the sure. Dart Points Podcast. Uh, be sure to check yeah. that out. And thank you so much, Jeff, for joining us today here in Austin, Texas, uh, Data Cloud USA. And to our viewers at home, thank you for tuning in. Stay curious, stay connected, and happy networking.